we're going to cover what's new with Recast Software Right-Click Tools 4.1. Uh, the first thing we're going to cover is the, the new feature, the Remote Software Center. So for that, we're going to right-click on a machine here, go to Right-Click Tools, Client Tools, and go to the Remote Software Center. Now that will launch a fairly familiar dialog box that should remind you of the actual Software Center on a machine. From here, uh, there's several tabs, Application, Software, Updates, Task Sequences, and Compliance. For applications, it's going to pull in anything that is an application or a program that is uh, targeted at the machine level. Same for software updates, it's going to give a, a list of the machine deployed updates that still need to be installed. Under task sequences, this will uh, pull in all the task sequences that are advertised to this uh, machine. Uh, all of these things are actionable, so for instance, I can go down to my upgrade task sequence, go ahead and trigger the upgrade for them. So we can go ahead, click install, and then we're gonna go over here and the exec manager log. For that machine, it's already actually starting to do something. You can see that it is uh, checking the content and then we'll see over here on the machine, uh, we actually see the in-place upgrade in the machine software center hit over to the installation status and start installing so this will be quite handy for your service desk folks all right so back in the console uh, since we're talking about task sequences um, we can one of the additional features they had was that the test sequence content tool now supports distribution point group So we can take a look at the content information for a specific task sequence. I'll confirm that it's actually all distributed. Uh, and then you can see which distribution points. Now this lab is pretty simple, so I've only got the one distribution point. But you could actually click on different groups. It would show different servers. And then the servers would show you uh, the content that is uh, targeted and the state of it. In 4.1, uh, they've also added yet another dashboard. It's the hardware audit dashboard. So in this one, you can have it select. You can uh, actually pick different collections and uh, you can then do your scan. It will pull in all the information based upon that collection. I break it down by chassis, manufacturer, and model. And then down below, it will actually uh, I went ahead and I picked uh, HP, uh, but I could easily pick Dell. I've only got a couple physical machines here in my lab, but it will break down and tell you the information about that machine. Uh, this is just the first release of this new dashboard. A lot more development will be going into this in upcoming releases. Uh, similar to that point, in the old Relapse dashboard, it did not have all this information they've added uh, the client install state. So now you can see uh, a list of computers that have the LAPS client and which ones don't, which uh, help to make sense of some of this other information. That if you don't have a LAPS password in AD, it's kind of hard. Uh, if you don't have the agent, it's hard to have the password. Uh, another thing that they've added is that you can actually go ahead and set the expiration password uh, when it it, the password for it would expire. Uh, so here you can select one machine or several machines. You can tell them to expire now, or you can go ahead and pick a specific date and time and tell them when they're going to expire. So that's going to go out then and trigger that. Another addition to one of the current tools is they actually show a little bit more of the information that about what is in the cache. So we're gonna go ahead and right click, go to client tools and go to client information. And now this pulls in a lot of information about what is uh, going on with the CM client side. So we can go into cache and now we can actually see the, the current size of the packages or applications 
that is in the cache. So in this cache on this machine, currently I only have uh, software updates cached uh, on that machine, uh, which is what the GUID stands for, a software update. Uh, otherwise you'd see package IDs and uh, the GUIDs for the applications. I also noticed that this machine does not have a very large cache size. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that since I'm here so that I can download the payload for the upgrade. All right, and with that, uh, that covers the what's new in 4.1. I'll be going over uh, more of this in depth in actual blog articles and in some follow-up videos. Thank you for joining.